Good evening. This is All India Radio and I'm VC Pramod with the news at 9. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi asks MPs to hold awareness programs on COVID-19 in their respective constituencies during the weekend. Center deputes 30 additional secretaries, joint secretaries to assist state governments in effective management of COVID-19. All central ministries and departments advised to install thermal scanners at the entry of government buildings. Prime Minister says relations between India and Bangladesh are built on the strong foundations of shared heritage. Delhi court dismisses plea of Nirbhaya case convict Mukesh Singh seeking quashing of death penalty and Supreme Court clears permanent commission for women in the Indian Navy. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today hailed the role of the media in creating awareness on the issue of coronavirus in the country. After the BJP parliamentary party meeting held in parliament, Parliamentary Affairs Minister Prahla Joshi told media persons that the Prime Minister has asked the MPs to go to their respective constituencies over the weekend and hold awareness programs on coronavirus. Union government has deputed 30 additional secretaries and joint secretaries to assist the state governments in effective management of COVID-19. Union government has deputed 30 additional secretaries and joint secretaries to assist the state governments in effective management of COVID-19. They will be deputed to the states and will work in close coordination with the state authorities for coordinating the preparedness and response measures. An orientation meeting of all the officers is being held tomorrow. Total number of confirmed cases of coronavirus in the country has now reached 137. Briefing media in New Delhi today, Joint Secretary in the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Love Agarwal said 14 people are now free from the coronavirus. As on today there are 137 confirmed cases in India including 14 who are now covid free and three reported deaths two of the deaths had already pre existing comorbidities as reported earlier the third disease case reported today is from maharashtra with travel history to dubai government is taking appropriate steps to limit the spread of covid 19 we look forward for a whole of government and a whole of society approach and the cooperation of everyone in dealing with the situation Mr Agarwal said three guidelines have been issued today in wake of covid-19 situation in the country he said the indian council of medical research has strongly appealed to all private laboratories to conduct the covid-19 diagnosis free of cost he said 100 call center lines are operational in the country to remove any doubt about coronavirus additional secretary in the ministry of home affairs anil malik said Bureau of Immigration has launched a 24 by 7 helpline number for enquiries related to travel, visa and immigration. He said the number is 0112430066 and the people can also email at support.covid19-boi@gov.in. Meanwhile, Additional Secretary in the Ministry of External Affairs, Dammu Ravi, said that all the Indian pilgrims are safe in Iran and every step has been taken by the mission in cooperation with Iran for the safety of the Indians there. All central ministries and departments have been advised to install thermal scanners at the entry of government buildings in the wake of COVID-19. Department of Personnel and Training, in its advisory today, said hand sanitizers must be placed at the entries. Indian Council of Medical Research ICMR today said they are expanding their laboratories and at present there are a total of 72 functional laboratories in the ICMR system briefing media in new delhi in the wake of covid-19 outbreak director general of ICMR dr balram bhargav said 121 laboratories will be active by the 22nd of march We are expanding our number of laboratories and as we speak today we have 72 functional laboratories in the ICMR system. We have also engaged non ICMR Ministry of Health government laboratories include CSIR, DRDO, DBT, government medical colleges and we have 49 of those labs which will start testing by the end of this week. Mr Bhargav said ICMR is setting up two rapid testing laboratories at different places which will have the capacity to test 1400 samples per day 
Union Home Secretary Ajay Bhalla today reviewed the level of preparedness to contain coronavirus threat with states bordering Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh and Myanmar. Mr. Bhalla held a video conference with chief secretaries, additional chief secretaries and other officials of the states. Home Secretary also urged all the officials to ensure that round-the-clock deployment of doctors with requisite testing kits and other medical supplies be done so that 100% screening is done without fail. In Jammu and Kashmir, 230 persons have completed their 28-day surveillance period of coronavirus and only three cases have been tested positive so far. Jammu and Kashmir High Court has issued a circular restricting the functioning in both of its Jammu and Srinagar wings to urgent matters only till the 31st of March. Chief Executive Officer of the Sri Mata Vaishno Devi Shrine Board, Mr. Ramesh Kumar, has appealed to pilgrims to postpone their visit to the Holy Cave Shrine till normalization of the situation. Central Railway and Western Railway have today increased the prices of platform ticket from 10 to nearly 50 rupees till further orders to avoid unnecessary gathering of people at the stations. In view of spread of COVID-19, Delhi Police has issued an appeal asking people to remain indoors as far as possible and not come outside for leisure or entertainment activities, which involves close contact with more than four to five persons at any place. It has also appealed not to assemble at any place for protest, dharna, rally or any other activity, whether in closed space or outside, till the 31st of this month. The police said it will not issue any no-objection certificate or permission for gatherings. Ministry of Defence has postponed the scheduled test for Airman Recruitment Automated Star A Pariksha in view of the outbreak of novel coronavirus. It has advised the candidates to visit the website www.airmanselection.cdac.in for latest updates. In Uttar Pradesh, the world-famous tourist attraction Taj Mahal and all other monuments at Agra have been closed for tourists till the 31st of this month in wake of the coronavirus spread. In our weekly bilingual live phone-in program Public Speak on Prevention and Control of Coronavirus Infection, Director of All India Institute of Medical Sciences Ames, Dr. Randeep Guleria, explained on what all precautions people can take to deal with the virus. हमें इस पैंडेमिक में यही कोशिश करनी है कि इसमें ज्यादा केसेस ना हो ज्यादा मोर्टैलिटी ना हो और इसमें सब लोगों की भागीदारी बहुत जरूरी है अगर किसी क्राउडेड एरिया में जाना जरूरी नहीं है तो ना जाएं घर में रहें अगर हमें जुखाम नजला खांसी है तो हम अपने आप को सेल्फ क्वारंटाइन करें हाथ अपने रेगुलरली धोएं अगर हम सब कदम लेंगे तो हम इस पैंडेमिक के नंबर ऑफ केसेस को कम कर सकते हैं मोर्टैलिटी कम कर सकते हैं the News Services Division of All India Radio will bring you a live discussion on preventive measures against COVID-19. Dr. Naresh Gupta, Director and President, Department of Medicines from Lok Naik Hospital and journalist Chetan Chauhan will participate in the discussion. This can be heard tonight on FM Gold Channel and additional frequencies from 9.15pm onwards. This program will also be available on our website newsonair.com and on our YouTube channel News on AIR Official. You can also follow us on the News on AIR app for updates. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, visit our News on AIR app and follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. You can also visit our website www.newsonair.com. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that the path shown by Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, legacies and the relationship between India and Bangladesh are the strong basis of partnership, progress and prosperity of both the countries. Addressing the 100th birth anniversary celebrations of Bangabandhu through video conferencing this evening, Mr. Modi said that relations between India and Bangladesh are built on the strong foundations of the shared heritage. बीते पांच छह वर्षों में भारत और बांग्लादेश ने आपसी रिश्तों का भी सोनाली अध्याय घड़ा है अपनी पार्टनरशिप को नई दिशा दी है नए आयाम दिए ये हम दोनों देशों में बढ़ता हुआ विश्वास है जिसके कारण हम दशकों से चले आ रहे लैंड बाउंड्री मैरिटाइम बाउंड्री इससे जुड़े कॉम्प्लेक्स मुद्दों को पूरी तरह शांति से सुलझाने में सफल रहे हैं 
a Delhi court today dismissed the plea of Mukesh Singh, one of the four death row convicts in the Nirbhaya gang rape and murder case, seeking quashing of his death penalty. The public prosecutor told the court that Singh's plea is frivolous and a tactic to delay the scheduled hanging. The National Human Rights Commission NHRC has dismissed complaint of mother of convict Mukesh Kumar in Nirbhaya case seeking urgent intervention by the commission to stop his hanging. The Supreme Court today cleared permanent commission for women in the Navy and asked the centre to complete the modalities within three months. It also granted pension benefits to women officers who have retired and were not granted permanent commission. In Mizoram, Poshan Pakhwada is going on. State Minister for Social Welfare Dr. K. Bechua inaugurated the program on the 9th of March. During the fortnight lock campaign, programs are being organized across the state on awareness drive and observance of Village and Nutrition Day. More from our correspondent. Under Portion Abhiyan, supplementary nutritious foods such as dal, high-protein chow, food grains, Nuts are distributed in all Anganwadi centers across the state for children below two years of age. Talking to AIR News, the special offer nutrition of the Social Welfare Department said, We are implementing this portion of since 2018 March. We have been running smoothly and we have performed well. In the future, as we are now, we will try to be the best performing state in the country. Irene AIR News, Aizol. The Lok Sabha today passed the medical termination of the Pregnancy Amendment Bill 2020 through voice vote. Speaking on the bill, Health Minister Dr. Harshwadhan said that the bill is not to extend the term of ordinary pregnancy but also for extraordinary and unfortunate circumstances. He also said that this amendment was brought to strengthen the dignity of life of women. Lok Sabha today passed the Aircraft Amendment Bill 2020 through voice vote. Civil Aviation Minister Hardeep Singh Puri said that the amendments would fulfill the requirements of International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO. Railway Minister Piyush Goyal today ruled out the privatization of railways and said the government is committed to make railways a world-class entity connecting Kashmir to Kanyakumari. The minister said by 2024, entire railway network will be electrified with an aim to achieving zero carbon emission by installing 20,000 megawatt solar capacities. Government today assured that while disinvesting the national carrier Air India, the interests of its employees will be safeguarded. Replying to the discussion on Aircraft Amendment Bill 2020 in Lok Sabha, Minister of Aviation Hardeep Singh Puri said that whichever company will buy Air India will need its employees, pilots and other staff. At the stock markets, key indices continued to post sharp losses and fell about 2.5% each today, and the rupee ended marginally lower against the dollar. A report. Sensex at the Bombay Stock Exchange slumped 811 points or 2.6% to end at 30,579. Nifty crumbled to 30 points or 2.5% to close at 8,967. And Brent crude oil futures declined 48 cents to trade below $30 a barrel at $29.57 a barrel. Arjun Chaudhary for EIR News. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi asks MPs to hold awareness programs on COVID-19 in their respective constituencies during the weekend. Centre deputes 30 additional secretaries, joint secretaries to assist state governments in effective management of COVID-19. All central ministries and departments advised to install thermal scanners at the entry of government buildings. Prime Minister says Relations between India and Bangladesh are built on the strong foundations of shared heritage. Delhi court dismisses plea of Nirbhaya case convict Mukesh Singh seeking quashing of death penalty. And Supreme Court clears permanent commission for women in the Indian Navy. For details of these stories and more, log on to our website www.newsonair.com and News on AIR app. And that's all in the news at 9. Good night.